tech tip. Today we're going to walk through some key features of the new Outlook. First, if you aren't on the new Outlook right now and you want to follow along, you can simply go to the top right corner of your Outlook and you'll see this toggle option to try the new version. Toggle that on and you'll be able to see the new interface. But don't worry, if you don't like it, you can always go back to the old version, but it doesn't hurt to follow along because you will eventually go to the new Outlook. So let's get right into it. The first thing is something that I use on the daily and it's the ability to pin an email to the top of your inbox. I use this as a reminder tool as well as pin emails that I might have to reference frequently. It's just very easy to do, easy to access, especially if you always have your email up. So in order to do this, you simply hover over the email you want to pin and then this pin icon pops up and you click it and that brings it right to the top. Now there's no limit on how many emails you can pin. Just remember the point of this tool is to separate these emails from the rest. So the more you do, the less effective the tool might be. Next is the snooze feature. This allows you to temporarily remove emails from your inbox and have them reappear at a more convenient time. And you can do this in two ways. One, you can hover over the email you want to snooze, right click, go to snooze, and then you have this list of predetermined times you can choose from, or go into choose a date and that lets you get more specific. The other way you can do this is if you have the email opened, there is a clock icon at the top, if you go click that arrow, it'll give you the same options to choose from a predetermined list as well as choose a specific time and date. Next, now you're able to schedule emails. So this is great if you work in different time zones or just have different hours, you can email them without pressuring them to open it outside of their working hours. So again, this is really easy to do. You will send an email like you normally would. And then instead of clicking send, you're going to click the arrow to the right and it'll say schedule send. And then same thing as snoozing, it'll allow you to choose some predetermined times or choose a specific date and time. It is important to note though that if you are using the Outlook desktop application, the scheduled emails will only be sent if the application is running at the schedule send time. But if you are using the Outlook on the web, the emails will be sent regardless of whether you're logged in or not. So just keep that in mind. And then next is categories. So you can see here in my email, I have a label for social and events. This is done through categories. And again, super easy to do. So you simply right click like we did previously for the snooze option and you see categorize. If you go in there, you can see the list of categories I already have created. You can see I use it for differing internal and external emails as well as flagging things as important. So I could label it as one of these if I wanted to. Otherwise, I'm going to go into new category, give it a name, and then give it a color. And just like that, that label will appear at the bottom of that email. If you go back into that menu screen, right click categorize, you can see manage categories. If you click into that, this will pull up all the categories that you have created. In this screen, you can edit the name of them, make them a favorite, delete them, or change the color if you need to. Also important to note that if you want to get to the screen another way, you can go up to the settings icon, accounts, and then categories, and this brings up that screen again, which allows you to do all the editing. Oh, and the point of favoriting is it allows you to filter out by certain categories. So your favorites will be here to the left, and you can see I have my categories here. So once you click into it, you can filter that way. Next is the to-do feature. Now it is more integrated into Outlook, which is awesome. So if you open up your to-do list, you can see all the tasks here. Now you can simply drag and drop an email and add it to your to-do list or create an event out of it. This allows you to set due dates, add reminders, and even assign it to someone else if you want using Microsoft 365. And that's a quick guide on pinning emails, snoozing, scheduling sends, using categories, and using the to-do feature with an Outlook. These features will hopefully help you stay organized and manage your time more efficiently. And as always, like and subscribe.